Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News Today at 4.30 starts now. After 16 years in prison, a man who claims that he was wrongfully convicted was released from jail. See what he said when he finally got his taste of freedom. And Ford issuing a massive recall for some of the Ford F-150 trucks. Find out what issue is causing the problem in the country's best-selling pickup. And your finally Friday forecast calling for a cool down. You can feel the change in the air outside your door. Refreshing, but still nice. Still nice. Yes. Most of the weekend. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I think we'll take that. Yeah, it is Friday, everybody. Welcome to the final day of this first full day for a lot of kids of the new school year right. and teachers, too. So thank you for joining us. I'm Rhonda Walker and I'm meteorologist Brandon Rue. And speaking of school, we do have a school closing to tell you about this morning at Siena Literacy Center on Detroit's west side that's closed because of a building problem today. Maybe they can't get the heat working. <laughs> it went from AC to heat. Let's, we need like something in between. We do. <laughs> I saw Teresa in the lobby yesterday with her, her heater space on. Heater. <laughs> Did you see that? I think she has that year round. <laughs> All right. Well, I, it just was peculiar because of the transition that we went through yesterday, and we feel it today. Now the clouds, a little blanket of insulation. We talk about that a lot in the winter time when we get clouds. It keeps temps from tumbling. Uh, we do have some lower 50s up in the thumb. Most of us flirting with 60 degrees, 60 in Howell, 61 Pontiac, 63 Monroe and and Ann Arbor. Now the radar is showing a couple of showers popping up here just in the last frame. I'm going to double check on whether any of this is uh, threatening to hit the ground, but most of the day a dry day. We're going to have these winds out of the north again, just shoving any of that moisture down south and as we go through the day a struggle to warm up as much as it's been a struggle to cool down it the clouds have that same effect on our high temperatures 70 at noon and 74 degrees your afternoon high temperature with mostly cloudy skies most of the day for zone weather is updated ready for you you can find your zone find your weekend and seven day forecast on the weather tab click on Detroit Com. Rhonda. All right, Brandon, thank you. What started with the discovery of an elderly man's body in Lake St. Clair on Thursday afternoon has turned into something much bigger. Local Forge Vermont Terry is in St. Clair Shores for us this morning with what's being investigated as a murder suicide case. Police spent much of Thursday investigating and here they are early in the morning hours on Friday, still outside this house, trying to figure out exactly what happened inside. We've determined that an elderly couple lived here, but only the elderly woman was found murdered inside. 12 mile just off Greater Mac Avenue, saturated with investigators from St. Clair Shores and Michigan State Police. The neatly manicured lawn is what usually get neighbors talking about this house, but now it's for different reasons. It's relatively quiet around here. I mean, you just yeah. don't hear about things like this. This is where someone found an elderly woman murdered inside. State police called in to help out in what is being described as a gruesome crime scene inside. How could something like that happen? What, what could have brought someone to, to do something like that? Police found the woman's body hours after they left Champagne Park. It was along the lake earlier on Thursday where divers and investigators found a man's body. It was believed that man committed suicide. Police traced the body in the lake back to the house on 12 Mile, and that's when they discovered the woman's body. The man and woman are husband and wife. Right now, police are trying to figure out how the wife died and how the husband's death is connected to this. They haven't ruled out if someone harmed him or not. It leaves neighbors perplexed and heartbroken. Something bigger. else could have yeah, happened, right? right. Yeah. That's I mean, you don't know. For the family, I feel for the family. State police again assisting St. Clair Shores in this investigation. They have their forensic lab out here and they're going to be out here for many hours as they try to figure out exactly what happened inside the house. That's the very latest reporting in St. Clair Shores. Jermont Terry, Local 4. Jermont, thank you. After spending 16 years behind bars for a murder he says he did not commit, 
there, Mubarez Ahmed is now a free man. Ahmed was convicted for murder back in 2001, but his case was based on a witness who has since recanted her statement. A judge granted him a new trial, but his lawyers are hoping to have all of the charges dismissed. The Michigan Innocence Project started working on Ahmed's case nine years ago. Mr. Moran came into my life in 2009 and did what he did for me. Today wouldn't be possible without them. Thank goodness for them. Ahmed says that the first thing that he did once he was out of jail was visit the graves of his family members that passed away while he was in prison. His mother and brother, both of whom died while he was in jail. Ahmed says that he is excited to spend time with the rest of his family. Two former fire officials from Riverview will be in court today to face fraud charges. Prosecutors say that Fire Chief Donald Meyer and Fire Lieutenant Scott Brighton got paid for hours that they didn't work. The two are accused of falsifying their time cards from December of 2013 to March of this year. Prosecutors say that each was paid more than $20,000 in unearned wages. The scheme came to light when an audit revealed inflated hours on their time cards. And former state Senator Burt Johnson will spend 90 days in a federal prison. A judge sentenced him for conspiring to steal public money. In March, Johnson admitted to putting a ghost employee on his payrolls, pay, on his office payroll to pay off a personal debt. That fake employee was paid more than $23,000. Under state law, Johnson will not be able to serve state or local offices for the next 20 years because of his felony conviction. Ford Motor Company is recalling nearly 2 million F-150 trucks because of a possible fire risk. The company says that parts on the front seat belt could generate sparks, creating a fire risk. The recall involves regular and super crew cab trucks made between 2015 and 2018. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan is going to be announcing a new plan to address transportation challenges in the city later today. The plan outlines goals for the next four years, which include strategies to make it easier, safer and more affordable to get around the city. Duggan hopes that the plan will connect Detroiters to opportunities for jobs, affordable housing and recreation. The announcement is planned for 11 o'clock this morning and of course we'll be there to bring you the announcement and all the details. Meanwhile, the debate over Michigan's ban on straight party voting is far from over. The plaintiffs in the voting case who want to keep straight party voting on the ballot have filed an appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. The Associated Press has reported that Supreme Court Justice Elena Kagan is considering taking the case. On Wednesday, a U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals upheld Michigan's ban on straight party voting. Coming up, U.S. Senators squared off in the hearing for Supreme Court Justice nominee Brett Kavanaugh. Find out what some of the senators were disagreeing over. And let's get to Brandon and talk about our forecast for this Friday and the weekend. The evidence of the clouds, Rhonda, look at 65 in Detroit, but the farther north you go, we're flirting with the 30s in Marquette right now with clearer skies to our north and that allows temps to cool off but cooler cloudy conditions and some tropical rain in your weekend forecast coming up next. Hi this is Bernie Smolovitz. The news on Hank Zetterberg does not sound good according to his teammates. You'll hear from them coming up. What is live in the V? We get to highlight all of the amazing things that are happening in Detroit. We have the inside skinny on everything that's new and hot and popping in Metro Detroit. And it's our opportunity to celebrate it. Live in the D, weekdays at 10 a.m. It's Michigan's most sought after mattress brand. And when you shop Gardner White now, you can take home Serta Eye Comfort for just $1 a day. Only at Gardner White, you save up to $700. Plus, you get a free box spring, a free TV, and free same day delivery. With three years interest free, you can trade up to this Eye Comfort Blue Queen set for just $1 a day. It's a steal. The new Eye Comfort Sleep System cradles every curve. It's memory foam reinvented. Don't miss this steal. Eye Comfort for just $1 a day. Friday and Saturday only at one store. Gardner White. I'm Jimmy Dean, and uh, I wish I could tell you how I feel about a morning like this. And that includes a good hearty breakfast. If you need something to kind of warm my whole body up and get it going, mm, it's a great way to kick off your day. You ever been to a big airport and they make you park so far away that the shuttle ride is longer than the flight? 
Well, you'll appreciate the less expensive, more convenient parking we have here at Flint Bishop Airport. And you'll also appreciate this. New ultra low fare nonstop flights from Flint to Fort Lauderdale, where everything just shines. Book online only at Allegiant.com. Talk about great news. Flint Bishop Airport, not the only way to fly, just a better one. They thought it was just a phase. You knew it was just the beginning. You're the brotherhood of muscle. Well-qualified returning employee lessees get a low mileage lease on the 2018 Charger GT all-wheel drive for $249 a month. Since we expanded Medicaid in Michigan, 680,000 people can now afford to see a doctor when they need one. I'm Gretchen Whitmer. They're the reason I negotiated across party lines in the state Senate and got it done. Now, Bill Schuette says he would get rid of Medicaid expansion, taking that coverage away. That's the difference. I think it's time to make health care more affordable for everyone. Good morning, everyone. The Red Wings will head to Traverse City next week, but at this moment, it looks like they're going to do it without Captain Hank Zetterberg. And some are saying Zetterberg may have played his last game for Detroit. We've got highlights of a Wings practice yesterday at LCA. Zetterberg was not there. He is home in Sweden, and he has a bad back, which he fought all of last year. As a matter of fact, on many days he couldn't practice. He would only be able to play in the games. Nothing is official yet, but his teammates do not sound confident. Obviously, he struggled uh, uh, training and, and uh, uh, hasn't really felt his, his back is, is where it needs to be to be able to play. I'm still hoping, I guess, a part of me hope that, that he sees some doctors now and they can come up with some solutions and that would get him to train again. He's not a guy you can just, just replace. But, uh, so we gotta, uh, we got to keep, you know, keep the culture and, and, uh, and, and stay with it here. All right, and that's the latest on Hank Zetterberg. NFL Lions open up the season next Monday night against the Jets at Ford Field. Detroit favored by six and a half. Golden Tate said the other day the preseason was shaky, but the curtain's going up for real. It wasn't perfect by any means, um, but now the season's here. That's where it counts. This, this is what, you know, all that work we did in April and, and throughout camp and the mini camps. This is when it's time to put that product out there. All right, 7 10 Monday night. They kick off at Ford Field. Baseball Tigers off last night. Tonight, they host the St. Louis Cardinals. I'm Bernie Smovitz. We'll see you later today at 5, 6, and 11. Thank you, Bernie. Turning now to some stories that are making headlines this morning. Four people, including a gunman, are dead after a shooting in downtown Cincinnati. It happened on Thursday morning. Police say that 29-year-old Omar Perez entered a Fifth Third Bank and started shooting. Officers confronted Perez in the lobby, eventually shooting and killing him. Investigators say that Perez was not a current or former employee of the bank, and they're still trying to figure out a motive. Day three of the confirmation hearing for Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh included Senate Democrats forcing the release of confidential documents. Early in the day, New Jersey Democrat Cory Booker released an email regarding racial profiling despite objections from Republicans. Emails are being withheld from the public have nothing to do with national security. No senator deserves to sit on this committee or serve in the Senate, in my view, if they decide to be a law unto themselves and bring the charges. Mr. Bring. Chairman. Most of Kavanaugh's record has been withheld from the public and from senators in the hearing. Despite that, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is predicting that Kavanaugh will be confirmed before the end of the month. There was uh, more backlash from the explosive New York Times op-ed attacking President Trump. In response to the op-ed, U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren says it's time to use constitutional powers to remove President Trump from office. If senior administration officials think that the President of the United States is not able to do his job, then they should invoke the 25th Amendment. So the 25th Amendment allows the vice president to take over if the commander in chief is, quote, unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office. 
A North Korean computer programmer accused of working alongside the North Korean government has been charged in connection with several high profile cyber attacks. Justice Department officials say that the hacker conspired with others to conduct a series of cyber attacks on financial institutions and defense contractors, including the 2014 hacking of Sony Pictures Entertainment. He was charged with computer fraud and wire fraud. And let's get to the newsroom. Evrod standing by with the stories we're working on to kick off this five o'clock hour on our Friday morning. Happy Friday. Hey, happy Friday to you too, Rhonda, and to everybody that's watching at home. There is an unusual insect that's making a comeback in some parts of the country. It's called a kissing bug, and you definitely don't want to get kissed by this thing because its bite can be dangerous, even deadly. So we've got the warning for you. Plus, what in the world was she thinking? A woman falls through the ceiling of a restaurant, and it was packed. OK, so watch that and wait until you hear what she was looking for. We'll tell you that coming up. Also, we are going back on the course with Krauss today. Bob and Brandon are going to help us improve our swing. So I'll see you for that and more when I join you at 5 a.m. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. Sounds good. And it's a nice weekend for golf. Not as hot and muggy and humid, but still warm enough. Absolutely. Yeah. And Anything you're going to plan on doing on Sunday. Now we have the latest model data. We've been tracking the former Hurricane Gordon, ah. its impact. So Sunday we're saying get her done early. I okay. think by the mid afternoon could start coming down pretty good. All right. Wow. Well. Saturday then is good. Saturday looks good. I mean, it's it's you know maybe better than uh, golf. It's football weather, and we have uh, temps in the 60s and 70s. A little bit of a breeze. Uh, this is going to be a little bit uh, more mild today than tomorrow. But sunrise time at 7:05 a.m. on your finally Friday, and the sun goes to bed tonight 7:57 p.m. You see the, the flag blowing down there from, I guess, left to right, which means it's a, a north wind, cooler air, 53 in Lapeer, but the cloud cover over most of Metro Detroit has been keeping temps on the milder side. 63 Monroe, 60 Howell, it's 65 at Metro Airport, and feeling good out there. It really is the air very dry, very nice. We are tracking a little bit of activity on radar, but most of the day a dry day. 61 at 8 a.m., 70 at noon, and 74 your afternoon high temperature with mostly cloudy skies. And for the games tonight, sh uh, should be a dry one, but as that sun goes down just before eight o'clock, temps will fall back into the 60s. So grab your favorite high school sweatshirt, maybe a light jacket, all things being relative. You might not need it, but here's a look at the last couple of hours on four live radar and through Jackson County. So anybody that is driving west on 94 could run into a quick little splash and dasher, but high pressure to our northwest has this clockwise flow around it, and you can see the air will be coming down off of the big lakes to our north and driving that moisture farther south. So we wait for Gordon moisture, not in the forecast today. Clouds, however, tomorrow clouds and a little bit of a breeze. Still a decent day to be doing your outside activities. And then Sunday, we're going to watch the progression of Gordon moisture coming up. I think by about 3 p.m. should be coming down and that will keep temps in the 60s on Sunday. Lasting into Monday, first half of Monday looks wet, Rhonda. And after Gordon gets on out of here, we're going to start to warm up again midweek. We're going to be near 80 again. That looks nice. All right, Brandon, thank you. Let's take a look at the area roadways as you're getting your Friday early morning commute started. This is one of our cameras up in over 8 Mile and I-75. 75 down below, north and southbound travelers moving along just fine. Light traffic volumes on our area freeways and no accidents to pass along your way. Well, baseball is not often a contact sport, especially in the broadcast booth, but reports submerged of Detroit Tigers play by play announcers Mario and Pemba and Rod Allen getting into a physical altercation and rumors of Allen choking and Pemba emerged. Let's get to Mar McDonald to explain what all unfolded in that box. Now Allen's agent is saying that there was no chokehold. What he will say is that there was an altercation. 
Hi again, everyone. Welcome what to went down Tuesday night in Chicago is still under investigation by Fox Sports Detroit, but what sources say happened was Allen grabbing Impemba in a fight over a chair. The first thing I wake up to in the morning is that Rod and Mario get in a fight. I'm, and then, you know, I kind of thought, well, I've heard they've had like ongoing feuds back and forth over the years, so I didn't think it ever developed to like a whole fisty cuffs thing, but it was. It was pretty funny. Allen and Impemba are in their 17th season as a duo. They're simply Rod and Mario to everybody who's been watching them work the games for years. What is unclear tonight is whether both will continue on and whether both will be there for this weekend's series against St. Louis and celebration of the 68 World Series. Sources have told multiple publications Allen grabbed Impemba in a chokehold, something Allen's agent is disputing, releasing this statement tonight, which in part reads, quote, we have not commented because Fox Sports Detroit is handling this professionally and thoroughly. But these ridiculous, blatantly false descriptions require me to speak the truth and say they are utter fabrications. Nobody followed anybody. There was no contact from behind. And a chokehold is a shamefully untrue way to describe anything which occurred in the very brief altercation. Now, we reached out to the Chicago Police Department, and according to the department, they were not dispatched to the stadium for any sort of run in between the two men. And as far as we can tell, neither Allen nor Impemba has filed a police report. We're at Comerica Park. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. All right, Mara, thank you. One of the hottest rock bands in the world is coming out with a new album. When you can expect to hear from Michigan rockers Greta Van Fleet. Also ahead, Starbucks opening in a coffee loving country and quite some style to go along with it. See where this gorgeous new location just opened. On the next Live in the D, the barbecue joint serving up to 1,100 pounds of meat a day. Wow, plus one of Michigan's best kept secrets for a getaway. Today at 10 a.m. on Local 4. Oh, wow. Look at you. You got a ram. What made you do that? A lot of reasons. A comfort you wouldn't believe. Luxury everywhere you look. Not to mention legendary Hemi V8 power. Maybe I should switch. More people are switching to Ram trucks than ever before. And now get $1,000 bonus cash if you make the switch during Ram Power Days. Or well-qualified returning employee lessees get a low mileage lease on the 2019 Ram 1500 for $179 a month. Good morning, Jennifer. Sweet, juicy flavor. Crisp, farm fresh taste. Local, organic, natural. As one of America's largest produce buyers, Kroger gets the pick of the crop at savings we pass on to you. So you can choose healthy, delicious produce and stay on budget. That's peak of the season freshness, priced right. Yeah, that's Kroger. Spectacular September savings have arrived at Bill Fox Chevrolet in Rochester Hills. Come in today and check out these lease specials. Right now, lease a 2018 Equinox LT starting at just $99 a month. Or take home a 2018 Colorado Z71 Crew Cab 4x4 for only $139 a month. Deals like this won't last long, so hurry in and shop the Fox. Get to Bill Fox Chevrolet on Rochester Road, just three miles north of M59. Put a spell on you. Yeah, because you're mine. With Chase ATMs, Serena can now grab cash on the go, all with the tap of her phone. Stop the things you do. No card, no problem. Life lived Serena's way. Chase, make more of what's yours. Go to Dick Stop for a September has arrived, and exciting autumn prices are falling like leaves. Only at Dick Scott Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Take home a 2018 Jeep Compass Latitude 4x4, now just $130 a month. Or drive off in the 2018 Chrysler Pacifica Torinel for as low as $193 a month. When you buy a Dodge from Dick Scott, Welcome back, everybody. In today's buzz, Michigan-born rockers Greta Van Fleet have announced the release of their first full-length album. Oh! 
That's the band with their Led Zeppelin like sound performing one of their singles. The new album Anthem of the Peaceful Army is expected to be released on October 19th. A NASA astronaut took some stunning photos of then Hurricane Florence from space and you can take a look at this. Ricky Arnold was on board of the International Space Station when it flew over the storm. You can see how big it is compared to the curvature of the Earth. Florence has since weakened into a tropical storm. Starbucks finally opened this new store in Italy and it shines with Italian style. It's located in what was a former post office in Milan and features a 30 foot bar carved from a single piece of Tuscan marble. It will be a high end store with food by a famous Italian baker and espressos that cost more than those found at many Italian cafes, but despite the fanfare, many Italians are not enthusiastic about Starbucks disrupting their coffee culture. So we'll see how it catches on. It is Friday, which means that you have a chance to win something for free on ClickOnDetroit.com today. Our free Friday package is four tickets to see Kevin Hart at Little Caesars Arena, and he is hysterical. It'll be a great opportunity. He's on his comedy tour called Irresponsible. That show is scheduled for Friday, October 5th, so you can head on over to ClickOnDetroit.com on the contest page for your chance to win. Good luck. Time now is 4.55 and next on your Friday morning, local stories from Detroit, St. Clair Shores and Shelby Township. Also ahead, controversial wake up call. What one school resource officer did to wake a sleeping student well, it landed her on unpaid leave. This is a pretty alarming thing that she did. But first, let's get over to Brandon. Talk about our forecast once again. We're looking cooler out there. We could be even cooler though, 60s and 50s. Look up north, it's 40s and 50s. Tracking sky conditions, your weekend, it's finally Friday off to a coolish, mild start. But stay tuned, some changes in the seven day right here next. Local 4 News today at 5 a.m. Don't go away.